everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am gonna be doing a get ready with me and a Q and A, just a very chatty get ready with me basically. It is a Monday morning. I actually woke up really early this morning. I was planning on having a little bit of a lie-in, but my body had other plans and I woke up at like eight o'clock, which considering I was gonna sleep in until like 10 was pretty early, but it is now 11 o'clock and I am about to get ready because I've got a super busy day of work today. So I thought I would just film and get ready with me because it just kind of made sense. I also asked on Instagram for a load of questions and you guys did not hold back. I'm not gonna lie. My jaw actually dropped at some of the questions people were asking me i was like oh maybe i won't do a q a for a while after this well a lot of them were like juicy juicy like to the point i actually cannot answer that on the internet but i've picked out some of the ones that i think you guys are going to want to know the answers to so i hope you guys enjoy if you do please smash a huge thumbs up i've literally got primer in my hand and let's just get started i've just realized i've put primer on my hand before i've clipped back these two pieces of hair i just don't know why i've put these two pieces out at the front today but i just thought it kind of needed something else i've lost my straighteners like i don't understand how this has happened and i physically can't remember the last time that i used my straighteners I know I didn't take them with me to the lodge. Like I know I took them to Las Vegas, but I've used them since getting back. And now I cannot find them anywhere. I washed my hair and I planned on having my hair straight. Can't find them. Like I actually don't know where they've gone. So I'm going to have a big search of the house once I've finished work today to see where they are because I'm going to organize my office and stuff. And I'm hoping they're just going to appear. If they don't appear, someone's been in my apartment and it's actually taken them, I swear. It annoys me so much when I do this when like, you misplace an item or can't remember where it is, especially straight because I love my straighteners as well, they're GHDs. Right, first question. Well, first of all, I'll show you the products that I've been using as well. They're all like really dirty. I need to sort my makeup bag out. But it's the Invisible UV Flawless Poreless Primer from Charlotte Tilbury. And then I've wrote down a list of questions on my phone. And honestly, like I said, some of them were just wild. Like if you want to be involved in a Q&A, like all I can make bang or whatever, follow me on Instagram and send me some questions, but maybe just not as juicy as the ones that I got before because I was a bit like, Ooh. okay, I'm going to put some foundation on. This is is so nearly empty i can see how much is left at the bottom this is the ysl teacher class foundation i love it so much it is probably one of my favorite foundations i've ever used but it's just not like super high coverage it's a bit sheer so if you want it to be really high coverage i always have to go in and do like another layer but my skin's actually not too bad right now it's kind of slaying so one coat hopefully should be enough the first question is do you have any filler or have you ever had any work done i have answered this before but i'm gonna answer it again so i've had filler in the past i basically when i was i don't know what age i was i think i would have been about 20 maybe i'm 23 now maybe i was 19 i can't remember but i basically got nose filler because i just don't really like my nose i love it from the front and i love it from one side and then from another side which i, I would class as like my bad side it just doesn't look as nice it's like there's a lump but uh, yes i basically had nose filler about four years ago and obviously it only lasts like three to six months so obviously it has gone out my face now and no i've never had any other filler and i don't really plan on getting any to be honest i'm kind of on a bit of a um self-love journey right now and i'm trying to just love myself for how i am and the body that i have been put in and truth be told i just i'm pretty terrified of getting anything done to be honest the lighting in here is making my foundation look so pale I promise you i'm not actually that pale i do still have a little bit of a tan so yeah i don't have any filler left i've had filler in the past would i get it again no because realistically i don't actually think it made that much of a difference like when i looked at the before and after pictures because basically this is what i've heard anyway you're not meant to get filler in the tip of your nose because it can like migrate really really bad and apparently it's just quite dangerous and you'll go to a lot of places and they actually refuse to put it in your tip i don't think i had it in my tip i had it like here and i had it here but yeah it just i just don't think it made like that much of a difference i only had 0.5 so and because of the bump in my nose was quite big yeah i don't think it really made much of a difference but had it before wouldn't get it again it was an experience i'm glad i did it to 
see if I liked what it looked like because I'm not gonna lie, I have thought about getting a nose job before, but like I said, I'm kind of just learning to love myself like how I am and I'm just learning like as I'm getting older. There's more important things in the world than me, I don't know, I can't explain it. I think after going through like health stuff this year, like earlier on this year, I've realized that the aesthetics don't really matter as much. And yeah, I think that's maybe why I'm just trying to have be on a bit of like a self-love journey. But yeah, that was a very long-winded answer. Yes, I've had filler before. Would I get it again? No. This is the YSL concealer to match the foundation. And I don't know why I've just picked this up instead of my HMB one, but I'm gonna use it because it looks like a good color match. The next one is what is your ideal time scale to settle down? So my ideal time scale is probably gone out the window a little bit i actually want to do like a full video well not like a full video but just like a sit down talk where i speak about dating in your 20s because it is not all that it cracked up to be for me and basically my time scale in my head was i was probably going to be well this is my time scale when i was younger i was probably going to be engaged by like 25 have a kid at like 26 27 and then well my first kid and then get married by like 30 i'm now 23 and i don't think i'm anywhere near being ready for any of those things and and that's okay i think a lot of pressure is put on people nowadays and like especially people my age to know exactly what you want to do in life to have everything figured out to start to be financially stable to have a partner to have a boyfriend a girlfriend like thinking about kids and like i said i'm nowhere near i'm probably the most single that i've ever been which was another question do you have a boyfriend no i don't have a boyfriend spoken about it on the podcast basically the podcast is where me and sass speak about all things like boys and life and everything like that so if you want to hear us talk about that every week it's actually a very interesting conversation that we have you can listen to it it's on spotify it's called sex lies and dm size but i just thought i'd address this question on here because it's something that i've been thinking about a lot recently yeah i had a boyfriend i was with him earlier this year for a few months and then i decided to break things off because honestly like having a boyfriend made me realize that i'm not ready for a boyfriend and i'm not ready for a relationship and maybe that i'm just not as much as a relationship girl that i thought i would be i've always in my head dreamt of having like perfect relationships and being able to love someone and let them love me and I've really realized this year that you can't let anybody else love you until you love yourself and that's like really deep at 23 to sit and realize that but it is genuinely something that I have really been thinking about and really been trying to work on and yeah like I said I'm probably like the most single I've ever been in my life because you know when people say they're single but they're always kind of like speaking to someone or there's like someone on the scene like for me there's genuinely no one and it does get me down sometimes because I'm not gonna lie I do sit there and think like am I ever gonna to find my person like is that meant for me in this life is there someone out there for me i think that's such a natural thought when like everybody around you is speaking to people or getting into relationships and i'm not kidding with you like it's actually kind of embarrassing to admit but like when i start to speak to someone i keep getting ghosted and i don't know why and i don't know why it keeps happening to me and it's so bizarre but like i'll start to kind of like like the idea of someone and be like oh this person's actually like really cool like i'm really enjoying their vibe and then they'll ghost me so kind of just can't really be bothered right now to even try i just think when the time comes it will happen for me and everything will make sense like i'm back on hinge and i'm thinking this isn't making sense like this is literally not making sense like i found like the two people that i've previously been in like situations or relationships with on hinge so that's why i thought i'd give hinge another go because it's always like been the only real place that i can find people on so no it's not working for me this time i keep getting ghosted so if anybody has any other dating app suggestions or anything like like that let me know but yeah i don't have a time scale necessarily anymore i think my time scale has gone out the window you never know i could meet someone next week and be swept off my feet that could happen that has happened to people that i know and everything like that but yeah for me no painfully single time scale out the window and i'm no closer to having a boyfriend kids or getting married at least that's a bit of reality for everyone who feels single as at the moment somebody else's question off the back of that was how do you find being single in this day and age and the thing is like i'm not mad about it my contour looks crazy i don't know what's going on i think i need to get a new one of these it's the bff bronzer but it's just not blending as well as it used to on me maybe it's the lighting in the camera because in like real life it actually doesn't look good i really prefer being single but maybe that's because i've never like been in a long-term relationship that has been everything i've ever wanted i have always found it really 
really hard to want to settle down with someone and I think that maybe does just come from childhood and not really having like a dad on the scene in the last like several years of my life and you know watching my mum be a single mum I think there's a lot of like deep-rooted things c that can play a part in why I find it hard with boys but I kind of enjoy it when I like someone I have a little bit of like an anxious attachment style so I will sit around and like wait for their messages and you know like if they don't reply that will affect my mood and stuff and since not having that I genuinely feel so much happier but I know that when I find the right person I also won't have that anxious attachment style I think that is just how I am at the moment so I kind of enjoy being single in this day and age like I like being a flirt I like going out I like doing what I want I just don't think I'm ready to settle down maybe that will all change when I meet someone and they change my mind and all that and the thing is when you're in a relationship you can still do what you want to do but i just enjoy doing what i want to do right now i enjoy focusing on my career and working and everything like that but at the same time obviously i still do get down about it because like in the end you actually do sit there and you start to think is there anything wrong with me and no there isn't you just haven't had your time to meet that person yet but obviously that thought is easy to sit and think when you're so single i'm using my new palette that atticus and sanisha got me i've actually got two of these now it is the morphe 8t totally tan palette i don't know if this is the one that tanisha got me or if it's the one that Atticus. okay i forgot how pigmented it was especially when you get a new palette oh my god this palette is serving pigment a little bit more than i remembered when you get a new palette so my contour now looks a little bit dirty so we're just gonna have to try and rectify that with the powder let's put the blush on how pigmented is the blush whoa they've done something to the pigment in this palette because this is pigmented i'm just gonna bake my face but like bake it a lot to try and get this contour to settle down a little bit the next one what is a brand deal that you regret i'm not gonna lie i don't really regret any of my brand deals because i only say yes to things that i really want to do and that i believe in promoting i think the only thing i find slightly annoying sometimes is in this job when you say yes to a job without like seeing the brief first and then they don't give you any creative freedom so they'll tell you exactly how they want the job done but it wouldn't like fit with my audience like i know what you guys like i know what you guys want to see i know what i want to promote and sometimes brands will give me like the most wildest idea and i'm like that is just not going to translate well on my channel at all i actually really enjoy talking about this but as much as this is my life it's also my brand like everything i post is my brand i am a brand for myself and like you can promote the wrong thing and jeopardize that and it's all you know it takes a lot to think about and it's like a big thought process behind brand deals but i do remember there was one brand deal that i did and I'm, i can't name the brand because i'm just not that sort of person like i'm not going to sit in out brands but they sent me like the wildest brief ever and i followed it to a t this was years ago by the way i followed it to a t and they kept telling me that it wasn't good enough and it wasn't like right and by the end of it the ad was actually in embarrassing to post because i was like this is so forced and so fake because of how many times they're making me redo this and half of the time it wasn't even my fault it's because they were sending me the wrong product to not match the brief and then telling me to film it with that product but it wasn't the right ones so and they'd be like oh we've sent you the wrong one please can you do it again so now you know in contracts and stuff we'll put different things like one round of amendments but yeah that was probably like a brand deal i regret doing because in the end like i didn't regret it at first because i love the brand but the team just did not understand that I looked like a robot saying the ad. It was just like the most bizarre thing. So yeah, I definitely regret doing that. But no, every other brand deal that I've done, like I stand by, like I genuinely will only promote things that I really want you guys to use or like have or buy or whatever. So I think that's the only one I can think of. I've been getting a lot of questions relating to the PCOS and a lot of people are asking me like how I cope with it and stuff. And truth be told, I don't think they're really, well, do you mean like, cope like mentally or physically physically i get a lot of pain all the time i get really bad ovary pain i get bad boob pain i get bad back pain and it does almost feel like a bit of a never-ending battle and this is like so weird and i don't know how to like word this but i grieve my old life before i started feeling all the pain and i got diagnosed with it because i forgot what it's like 
to live and not stress about my health and not be in pain every day which is really sad so i think about it a lot like last year before all of this like cropped up and like was triggered and stuff i'm like oh my god i you know i live such a carefree life and i still completely do but obviously you know i wake up every day now and there's a certain amount of pain that i have to deal with and it is quite draining however i feel like i'm getting quite good at it now i'm trying to figure out different supplements and stuff that i can take and how to reduce my bloating and i've just done an allergy test actually like an allergy and intolerance test so i'm just waiting for the results on that to see obviously what i'm like intolerant to and what i'm allergic to and stuff because i'm i think i've got a dust allergy which is really random but just to add to everything else but yeah i don't know i feel like i'm getting better at coping with it now i haven't had a period for three months which is stressful i can't lie because i really just want to come on my period now like i keep waking up every morning and thinking right today is going to be the day i'm going to come on my period and i still haven't and i never thought i'd say i miss being on a period because my periods are awful but but it's just like that sigh of relief when you're like okay i've come on my period i'm fine but if you do want me to do like a full video on pcos i definitely can do that and if you want me to talk about like different things of you know like yeah basically how i have learned to cope with it and different tips and tricks that i have then i definitely can do that if that's something that you guys would want so let me know in the comments down below i've also realized i've just not showed you like well spoke about any of the products that i've been using but i was using like made by mitchell blush i use the bff face frosting morphe eyeshadow palette laura mercier powder refi on the brow and then I'm about to use this Ico Skinny Black Liquid Liner. I'm literally going to do tiniest little wing ever. Also, guys, I need to go to the opticians so bad because I have to wear glasses, but I never wear them in my videos. I only really wear them, like, driving or I don't know when else I wear them. Like, if I have a headache or, like, if I'm watching TV or anything like that because my eyes are so different. So this one, which I can see out of, is, like, 0.5, which is fine. This one is minus 5. So it's literally a blur like i can't see myself in the camera i can't see myself in that mirror i can't do my makeup unless i now bring this mirror to here to do the wing it's actually crazy so i need to go to the opticians and get some new glasses because my glasses are fine but i've had them years and i just want to go and get an updated eye test just to see if my eyes have got any worse or if they've got any better i actually think they've got worse i can't lie to you because i get really dry eyes and stuff but we'll see i need to do that that's on my to-do list the next question is do you ever wish you'd taken a different career path i really really don't i had another dream job which i've spoken about before and i really wanted to work for the government and work for mi5 but i also never took any of the right qualifications to be able to do that because obviously they like you to learn like languages and stuff and just loads of different qualifications that i do not have but that would have been like my dream dream job like say if youtube didn't exist that is definitely the career path that i would have gone down one million percent obviously don't think i'm ever gonna be able to do any anything like that anymore unless mi5 want to let me come round the hq and do a tour of it for a youtube video but yeah i don't think i'll ever get the chance to do anything like that again but do that again and do it in the first place but no i think youtube is just like my calling i can't explain it it's so weird but i just know that i'm meant to do this and like this is the right like life path for me i can't explain it but it just feels very right like it's my favorite thing in the world and i wake up every day thinking like how blessed i am to be able to live my life and do this as a job that I, that I got to turn my hobby into my job and then be my own boss at like now 23 is wild what are your thoughts on locked in so i'm pretty sure it's going to be by the time this video goes up it's going to be finished i have loved watching it i'm a couple episodes behind so i need to catch up actually i might sit and binge watch it tonight but i love it because obviously i went in for season two i would honestly love the chance to go back into locked in because when i did it i did it in 2021 and i was so quiet like i was so such a timid little girl and that makes me really like sad watching it back but also really proud because i think a lot of people just assume that everyone on social media is going to be super loud and super out there all the time and that's not the case for me when i'm put in a group of new people i do find it harder to come out of my shell and it takes me a while and that is what happened to me in there i was just i you know i was in such an unnatural situation i was put in a random house with no phone for two weeks with strangers and like i, I have to adjust to change so i found it really hard i was 
quite quiet as everyone knows and I got a fair bit of stick and hate for being quiet but I don't think that's a bad thing I think I was just myself like if I was back then if I was being super loud and screaming and everything like that that just wasn't me however if I got the chance to go in again I think I would go in as a completely different person like I feel comfortable speaking in a group I feel comfortable in myself enough to like I was too scared that if I was going to say something no one was going to laugh like that's how I was like my mindset was but now I'd be like I don't care like I'm just going in there to have fun and I really do wish I had another chance at going in to do it all over again because I like I said I feel like I'd go in there as a completely different person and everyone would get to see like a whole other side to me so yeah I do wish I got to do that again I need to sharpen this lip liner so bad because that is huge but yeah i'm loving locked in this year i've been rooting for several people love casey love george love ash who else is in there tennessee love her danny aarons is so funny this year as well i'm really enjoying him in it yeah i just love locked in as a show as a whole i really really enjoy it i just realized that so much of my makeup bag is morphe i'm now using a morphe lip liner as well i need to put lashes on though i've just realized i haven't yet put lashes on and i've just done my lip liner i've got some tatty lashes here i need to get a new lash glue because i'm using at the moment one of these like tiny ones from a lash packet because my duo has run out so when i'm in town get my nails done because my nail has fallen off i need to go and get a new lash glue oh what is one bad habit that you have when it comes to dating i feel like everyone's got bad habits when it comes to dating and stuff <sighs> I don't know. Whilst I put my lashes on, I'm having a real good think about what my bad habit is because there's got there is there's something, there's loads, I just can't pick one. Okay, you know what? I kind of know one, but I don't know if it's like a bad habit or if it's just something that like I personally want to improve on. But I feel like I need to let the man chase me a little bit more. Maybe this is why I keep getting ghosted because once I like someone, right? This is my toxic tragedy, this is my bad habit. I will match someone on hinge, like if I really, really fancy them and they're bantering me really good and we've had a good conversation for literally 20 minutes i will start to get a little bit like obsessed in my head and i will really imagine well am i imagining our wedding probably i'm imagining our life together and we've not even met like i don't even know you as a person i just know that you've got a good banter and i fancy you that is my downfall i do it every time well but i don't mean like every person i speak to on hinge there's been two people that i've matched and both of them have ended up ghosting me as soon as I've had this thought. And I'm like, why? Because like, I'm not telling you that I'm thinking we're gonna get married. Like I've just thought it and suddenly now you've ghosted me. Like, unless you're really good at telepathy and you can read my mind and you've been scared off, I don't know. So that is my bad habit when it comes to dating. I need to just let the man chase me a little bit, not envision our wedding and our three babies and just live in the moment and actually get to know them. Where do you see your career in the next 10 years? I see my career still be a mainly youtube because i think youtube will always be my number one like social media has obviously grown so much and it's so weird because i still remember when tiktok wasn't a thing when there was musically and then that died and then tiktok became a thing and obviously like tiktok has blown up so many new people in the social media world but youtube for me is just where it's at like i feel like you know me personally and that is just my favorite thing in the world like being able to vlog my life so i still see myself on youtube in 10 years hopefully making family vlogs with a little family and my husband and my kids and stuff like that would be amazing if that was the case in 10 years what else where else do i see my career i mean i'm working on something at the moment which i see being quite a big thing so hopefully when you guys find out about that that will be you know still a thing in 10 years what else do i imagine in 10 years me being on i celeb i would love that or an index Saturday night takeaway i would also love that i'm now ready i've got a load of work that i need to do today but i'm really glad i filmed this like little get ready with me chit chat thing i just need to put some earrings in and get dressed and maybe add a few more curls to my hair still need to find my straighteners that's actually what i'm gonna do after this i'm gonna go and find my straighteners but i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up let me know if you want to do the pcos video and i can sit and talk about everything and i I also want to do a video about like dating and boys and just being stupidly very honest so let me know if you do want to see that as well but i love you all so much and i will see you very soon for a brand new video Mwah. bye